Hi everybody, I'm Lucas, composer and software developer. In 2018, Prisonis and I teamed up to work on new MIDI editing features for Studio One. One of the features I developed at that time was the Thin Out Notes action that you can find in Studio One's Note Editor. Recently, a discussion came up in a Facebook group about how this feature actually works and I was asked if, as the original developer of the feature, I could explain in detail what it does and how it can be used. So here we are. Welcome to part 3 of my Node randomization series. In part 1 of my video series, we explored the fill with notes command, another function that I developed for Studio One. This is for generating randomized patterns and melodies. Then in part two, we took a look at the randomized notes command, which lets you tweak existing notes by adjusting their velocity, pitch or length to add variety and make parts feel more alive. And now we've finally reached part three, where it's all about the thin out notes feature. So let's dive right in. Here's a pattern I've prepared for this video. It's pretty dense, right? There's a lot going on. Let's see how we can use the thin out notes command to add some space and make it more dynamic. So what does thin out notes do? It's basically a tool for removing notes from a selected MIDI part according to the rules you set. This makes it quite useful for simplifying a busy track without manually deleting notes one by one. You have three different modes to choose from and they all approach the task differently. Let's go through them one by one. Simplify. This mode intelligently removes nodes by focusing on how aligned they are to the grid. Nodes that are off the grid, like a 64th node before the beat, are more likely to remove and nodes on important beats, like the first beat of a measure, are the last to go. This is useful if you want to clean up a part while keeping the overall groove and rhythmic foundation intact. If you set it to 100%, all nodes will be removed and 0% will remove no nodes at all. So let's leave it at 50% and see what happens. Maybe let's choose fewer notes to remove. Let's try something about 40%. I like that better. It leaves a few more of those ghost notes that the pattern needs. Now this is the simplify option. Let's try out delete notes randomly. As the name suggests, this mode deletes a selected percentage of notes completely at random. This can lead to some unexpected and fun results, especially for experimental tracks or generative music, which I'll show you in a second. Again, we can use the amount to determine how much the part should be thinned out. Let's again start with a value of 50%. The nice thing about random functions is that we can do this several times and we get a different result each time. Let's try out a higher amount like 79%. Okay, let's try something in between. The third option is grid. This mode removes all nodes that don't align with the grid setting you choose. 
For instance, if you set the grid to quarter notes, any notes that don't start on a quarter note position will be deleted. That's useful for locking parts to a specific rhythm or creating something more minimalist and structured. Let's try it out with a grid setting of 16th. Now let's select 8th notes. Now let's select quarter notes and let's see what happens. When we have something like this, what we can do is we can add a delay like Studio One's groove delay, which I really love. And now with the groove delay applied, it would sound like this. Okay, and now let's hop over to a completely different style. And you might remember this example from another video where I explained the fill with notes function. If you'd like to see how this works, check out the fill with notes video. And if you like this video so far, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more tips and secrets about Studio One. Okay, here's our pattern. Let's just listen to it. Once again, this is a very busy pattern, so a good thing to do would be to thin out this part a little to make it rhythmically more interesting. Let's choose Simplify and set an amount of 42%. And we get an 8th note pattern with some 16th notes in between. That's pretty cool. Maybe let's go for the random mode and let's select an amount of 50%. Let's try 25%. And of course, we can do the same for the drum pattern as well. Maybe let's make it an eighth note pattern. And let's bring in some randomness again, like this. Let's close this video with a little bonus tip. If you are not aware of the music editing macro toolbar, it's again something I had the honor to contribute to Studio One. And you can find it if you activate the macro toolbar and then make sure to click on the drop down menu and select the music editing page. This is a whole bar of music editing tools. It's basically the same as the commands in the action menu but here you have easier access to the different options, like here in the delete menu, you have one click macros for the simplify option with 50%, delete randomly also with 50%, and you can also thin out notes by grid. Again, you can also use the action menu and use the different dialog windows, but if you're used to the macro toolbar, then you can find many of these options here as well for quick access. If you liked this video, be sure to check out the other videos in my note randomization series. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions or ideas for future videos, leave them in the comments below. See you next time and I'll catch you in the next video.